I began as an artist probably after college. My parents sent me to the Aramont School of Crafts to get me away from a boyfriend. And the first time I tried batik on silk, I fell in love with the median and never left it. I love seeing white cloth change color and just fell in love with color on cloth, watching it absorb into it. Batik is forever something you can learn. So every time I do a piece, I do something I've never done before. And that puts more arrows in my quiver. And so I can build on all that information. And it is a little daring whenever you're trying something every time. But I like excitement and adventure. Being a person that likes to fly in airplanes, it's part of my nature. I like the adrenaline rush. So I was flying with my brother right after I got out of this school and looked down and realized I could have a life of adventure forever because people relate to their sense of place. And I have this wonderful machine that I can fly in and take pictures. So the aerial viewpoint is perfect for silk. I flew in my mother's belly in the air tube. And then they took me when I was two weeks old to see my grandmother in the air tube in our family plane. These are fiber reactive dyes and they come in powder form. And I'm mixing them with uh, chemical water, which has urea and uh, softener. And then to make them active, all I do is add baking soda and some soda wash. This is just a slow process. You keep it wet, unwet. And when I get to a certain point, I will marry the dyes, which means I just start mixing the dyes together so that they're pretty. But I, it's only when I get bored with the color I'm working with. It's a very, very subtle way to change colors. You don't even, you can't even see that the colors changed, but it has. By the time I get to the top, it'll be just red. I won't have any other colors in here. So that's the map that I'm actually using. But what I'm doing is just making it be at total high tide. So it's all flooded. Well, I think as a primitive people, we liked seeing a great big long landscape unencumbered, like the one right behind me. And it made us feel like we could see our enemies if they were coming. We had these primal things in us that the bigger the spaces that we can see, the safer we feel. I have 500 batiks, and now I'm making oils. And oils are my latest passion. I love to paint with oils. It's like pushing around colored butter. <laughs> because I'm asthmatic, my dyes are getting to a point where I can't use the waxes a lot. And I have a friend, Karen Weiss, that with a bunch of other teachers started teaching me and now I'm just rapid fire learning. See, as an older lady, it's gonna to come to some point where I can't get up and down. I reckon, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll always be strong. I'm very goal oriented. I work every day, uh, I, I'm a seven, hours a day worker in the studio or hanging a show or whatever. I'm, I'm a, a workaholic, but it's a good job. So 